Doggies. Pups. What are they doing when you're not watching? Okay, you're free. I'm gonna give you a treat. Today, I'm answering this question by spying on my own dog. Coronavirus has forced us non-essential workers inside, encroaching on our dog's domains. So I'm doing this because I'm a BuzzFeed producer who has to come up with videos around her own home. Well, technically my parents' home. I left my small Brooklyn apartment along with my husband and dog to shelter in place at my parents' home in Florida. They also have two dogs. So today I'm gonna be spying on the dogs and uncovering all of their secrets. Let me introduce you to the dog crew. There's Lucy, that's my dog. She is a lady. She's tiny, but she's very alpha. Then there's Shandy, she's a big girl. She loves food and she loves pets. And then there's Jack, who is on constant guard from intruders or boats. What are we barking at? Absolutely nothing. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna find out that my dog, Lucy, does really gross things or weird things that I didn't know about. No, no, no. But maybe she's just gonna be really boring. There's a really high possibility of that. But there's only one way to find out. Time to get up. Are you awake? All right, I'm gonna follow you around today. What do you think of that? The day started out fine. Breakfast was the main focus, watching it get made, and then ravenously consuming it. Then the day took a turn for the worse. Thunder, lightning, a dog's worst enemy, other than vacuums and fireworks. So obviously thunder outside. The dogs are scared and they're now indoors. Are you guys scared? They are all huddled up on top of my mother. So I guess they just judged her as the best caretaker, which I mean makes sense for Jack and Shandy, but was a little insulting to see Lucy also thought that. I mean, when you can't go outside and you're stuck in your home, then there's even less to do. You don't want to come out here. I mean, I tried to get them to go outside. They wouldn't. They did not want to go outside at all. So. You can go outside? No. You can go outside. Now that they're all stuck inside, it's like, what are they going to do? I kept imagining what Lucy was thinking. You know, why is this guy shouting at me? Will I ever get to leave the house again? Will I ever get to pee again? With two months of staying at home and not going out, I've asked the same questions. I mean, at least I had something to do which was spy on them. Spying requires distance and it's hard to get that when you're sheltering in place with someone. It's like Lucy was always aware of my presence. It's like she had some sort of sixth sense. I mean, or it could have been just the sense of smell. That could have been the sense that she was using to know I was around. But I felt like they were spying on me back. Like sometimes I would be following Lucy, but she would then start following me. So then I was like, who's spying on who? <laughs> okay. It's anxiety inducing to not know what the future holds. And pretty early on, I could tell it was getting to Lucy. <laughs> what? Are you bored? At first, I think she was just acting out a little bit, looking for attention. Is this what you want? She kept rolling her ball yeah. under the couch and then barking until, you know, someone would get it for her. By early afternoon, she was picking fights with Jack. Lucy was not a good girl, but I get it. Being so close, you're bound to get in stupid fights with your roommates. Then as it got dark, it seemed like the rain might stop, but then bang, more thunder, more lightning. At this point, my mom had left for a pharmacy run, so the dogs surrounded my dad on the couch. They must see him as the second most powerful human of the household. I'm probably number three. Maybe. It was a tough day, but there were some reprieves. Dinner time, treat time. Those are the same times I would look forward to as a human. They found a few things to do. Shandy likes to watch TV, so she watched some TV. She wasn't really a fan whenever there was a dog on. I assume she thinks she would have done better in the part, and so she kind of barks at them in a jealous rage. The day's ending, they've been cooped up inside. Uh, Lucy and Jack are at odds, and I realized a few things. Isolation was definitely negatively affecting the dogs, and also, I'm a horrible spy. That's why I decided to give myself another day of spying on them. 
And I'm really glad I did because the next day was beautiful. It was like night and day. There was so much more energy. I think they had been cooped up. So Lucy was running around like a crazy dog. The dogs that had a lot to do, they had to catch up with the neighbor dog. I assume discussing the neighborhood gossip, perhaps. And yeah, you have to find your own forms of entertainment. And they certainly did. They could bird watch a lot. Lucy found dead palms that had fallen down from the storm the night before out of the neighbor's yard. I guess it's like trash to treasure, you know? There was a lot of watching out the window. Is the delivery person coming? And also I get that because right now we're only going out like once every two weeks to the grocery store. So anytime there's a package, it's like the most exciting thing. Mike and I decided to take them all on a walk you know, because walking a dog is an excuse for us to get some fresh air. And we even ran into some very friendly dogs. Uh, and we, of course, social distance. Spying was easiest when they were sitting and sunbathing. Spying was hard when I caught Lucy doing something naughty and I had to intervene. No, 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 whoa, 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 hold on. She rolled in some dirt, crap, got it all over herself. They all had to get showered. And I understand the not wanting to shower. I mean, I've been showering less. You know, we're just stuck in one place. What's the point? So after the tensions from the day before, Lucy and Jack decided to resolve their fight and make up. It might look like Lucy's bullying Jack, but I think that's just how they play. And even Big Shandy joined in. So everyone was having fun then. So after two days of spying, what did I learn? I learned that dogs can get depression anxiety just like humans. So while we're all cramped up at home, remember to check on them. I also learned that they eat a lot of bugs and grass when you're not looking. It was gross. It was way more than I thought. The biggest thing I learned is that companionship is so important during tough times like this, and I'm lucky that I have Lucy. And I think she feels the same way. Right, Lou? Or maybe not. Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. Thank you.